Hi everyone, it's JJ here and welcome or welcome back to Be Colorful. As I said in the last video, today we're gonna create two cards using heat embossing on acetate with the stamps and the embossing powder of the Tonic Craft Kit 53. Of course, you can replicate the technique with any stamp or any embossing powder that you have in your stash. For this technique, it would be better to use heat resistant acetate. So, I place the stamp on my stamping platform. I sprinkle some anti-static powder on the acetate. This powder will ensure that the embossing powder sticks only to the ink. For stamping, I'm going to use the clear Versamark ink. I apply the green embossing powder from the kit and I'm going to melt the powder with my heat tool. I also prepare a second panel in the same way. Now that my heat embossed acetate panels are ready, I can create my cards. The card number 4 for this heat will be a shaker card. So on 4 by 5 and a quarter inches white panel, I'm going to die cut a window with this die from the kit. On the back of the panel I'm going to apply the double-sided tape adhesive included in the kit and I'm going to attach the acetate. As a background for the shaker card I'm gonna use one of the pattern papers included in the kit. On the back of the main panel I apply some foam tape to create the thickness for the shaker card. I found a way to cut the foam tape, avoiding it sticking to the scissors. The secret is to place it on top of no porous paper, so where the foam tape doesn't stick. I'm using, for example, the protective film of a set of foam pads. I think you can also use uh, cooking paper, or baking paper, or any protective film um, of uh, some adhesive. I assure you that it is the solution of the life. <laughs> and as you can see, it's uh, very easy to remove the foam tape from uh, this kind of paper. 
I make sure that the area where I gonna put the shaker element is well closed. Before assembling everything, I'm going to decorate the card with the cream go green ribbon that we find inside the kit. I put the confetti from the kit on the top of my card base, precisely in the area where the window will be. Then I definitely glue the main panel on the card base. On the front I'm going to stick with a glue dot a little bow, which is actually a simple knot, but is so cute. I finish the shaker card by creating a few drops of the green stone drops from the kit. For the next card I propose you one of my favorite techniques, a see-through card with a stained glass effect. To achieve this effect I'm going to color the back of my embossed panel with alcohol markers. And here we go! That's so beautiful! Let's put the stained glass panel aside and I'm going to create my card base, which will be a trifold card. It looks like a complicated card, but it is really simple to do. Just combine two card bases. In this case I gonna make them on white cardstock in standard size, that's four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So to get a trifold card we simply have to glue the two cards like this. I have to slightly shorten the upper side of the inner card and the lower side of the outer card. In this way everything will be well aligned when the card is closed. Now I gonna create a frame for the front of the card by die cutting a 4 by 5 and a quarter inches white cardstock. Then without moving the die I place the frame on the front of the card base and I'm going to die cut it, obtaining a window that will allow you to see the inside of the card. On the back of the frame I glue the embossed acetate to then glue it on the front of the card. I create a thickness by gluing two layers of cardstock. You can of course use foam tape if you prefer. And now I'm going to choose the background for my stained glass panel from the papers included in the kit.
Yes, I think uh, I'm going to use uh, these uh, with green uh, glitter, which create an uh, ombre look, a new type of uh, paper from Tonic Studios. I glue this background panel on the front of the interior card. After that, I glue the two cards to form the trifold card, applying the glue on the underside of the inner card that I glue on the back of the first card. I hope you can understand. <laughs> It's trouble to explain, but it is, but it is very easy to do. I just have to add some finishing touches by gluing two square gems of the kit. And we have come to the end of this video. If you liked this amazing technique, leave me a nice stained glass thumbs up and a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for stopping by, see you next time, bye bye and be colorful!